Today's video specifies on a specific damage combo test involving the permafrost prism. And in this test, I'm using a royal hood with damage, a scholar robe with damage, royal sandals with damage, beef stew, Morgana cape, permafrost prism using the first Q, the second W for mobility, and the third passive for cast speed. Now, the first test we're going to do is on the live server on my current character, and this is what I have for uh, Frost Magic. Where, where is it at? There we go. Frost Mage. It is 100 spec permafrost prism. The rest is 1, 1, 1, 11, 11, and 11, which brings us to 1779 item power with a good quality weapon. And I'm trying to determine if it's worth maxing out the entire ice mage tree to pump up this combo's dps potential so let me kind of show you how this combo works this is my dismounter this is my transport ganker this is what i do uh, when i see people doing faction transports i will use what is called the elite terror bird with the desert breeze ability you have to be faction flag to use this and what it does is it will dismount you but it gives you a run speed boost allowing you to chase people a little bit more efficiently on foot then I will activate my helmet, run at them with my boots. When it gets up to five stacks, I will hit the target, uh, teleport on top of them, and then I will just start spamming my Q spells. And you can see that uh, the DPS meter um, is not yet on... It's not yet on live, okay? So when you attack a target dummy on the test server, it shows you the DPS that you're doing. Uh, in that case, I did... Uh, it had 5,900 remaining HP, meaning I did 4,900 damage. All right, uh, but whenever I attack it, there's no DPS meter. So we have we have to do this test on uh, on the test server, unfortunately. All right, we are now on the test server. I have uh, downgraded my spec and using the same exact gear. I realized in that first test, I didn't eat the beef stew, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, let me just show you what I'm talking about real quick here. When I attack a target dummy on the test realm, it'll show a DPS number above their head. See, look at that, that's pretty cool. That's gonna come to the live servers at some point. I don't know when, but uh, this lets you test your damage and see just how crazy powerful you can actually get. So let's go ahead and eat the beef stew. And normally I would dismount and then, you know, do my cooldowns, but we can do it here. So I'm going to activate the helmet, activate the boots, activate, there we go, teleport on top. And I did not stack up my helmet properly, therefore this test is void. Unfortunately, to do another test, I have to wait a whole two minutes for my cape to go back off cooldown because that is a huge damage steroid for our Q spell. Now, if F SBI listens or watches my videos, it would be really cool if they put like a little circle down like over here that you can step into to reset your cooldowns or something like that. I think that would be pretty neat and nifty, but uh, who knows? Maybe one day they'll add something like that. All right, here we go once again. Activate helmet. Start charging it up. Boots. I'm gonna go ahead on the fifth charge there. I think we got the sixth helmet charge. Here's our DPS. Over 1,000. Uh, you can see there... It's around it's it, it's around a thousand DPS and it drops, um, you know, once all my cooldowns are down down to obviously six hundred. But uh, I'm gonna say that's an eight hundred to one thousand DPS. That's actually pretty damn impressive. Okay, so here is result one. Okay, one thousand seven hundred seventy nine IP. That's with one hundred spec, eleven in the regulars, one in the rest. Okay, with good quality weapon, we have one thousand one hundred DPS. It drops to 800, then 600, okay? That's a nice little ballpark for us. All right, now we're going to do the test with a masterpiece permafrost prism with absolute complete full-blown max spec. That puts our item power at 2031. Now, the only way to increase our damage even further would be to use an 8.3 beef stew, but that's overkill for hunting uh, transport gankers, okay? But, <laughs> I mean, the whole, every technically this is overkill too, but uh, let's see the damage. So we're gonna go ahead and stack up our helmet. And I got the six stacks, so we can see the DPS was 1,400, and it drops down to about 1,000 after, you know, you start running out of buffs. So that's a huge, massive, massive, massive increase. Holy crap. So here's the results, and now the next test is 100 spec into everything, which is reasonable, with a excellent quality weapon, putting us at 1919 19 item power. So it's a little, it's like about a 100 and maybe like... 20 drop or something like that in item power. Let's see. Uh, let's see how much damage we do Helmet 
give it a few stacks, boots, and we got the six stacks, so we are good to go. It looks like we lose about a hundred or so. It's not. It's it's a little hard to tell. I wasn't really paying attention, but um, uh, I'll, I'll review the footage. All right, it's it's actually kind of hard to judge the DPS so much, but the way I'm doing it is I'm trying to pause my previous footage at certain intervals, looking at the buffs in the top left of my screen to see where the buffs line up with the other DPS checks, and this is about what I got. So you can see here that um, maxing spec with Masterpiece, you lose about 70 DPS, and then it drops down you know, by another like 70-ish. So uh, yeah, it's, it's like 70... 70, we gain about 70 DPS per item power, it looks like. Not item, 70 DPS per about 100 item power, okay? All right, now we're going to bump it up a little bit more. We're going to get the Masterpiece back on. We have 120 spec in Permafrost, 100 spec in the rest of the weapons. This is pretty much an all-in investment that you would do if this is what you want your main weapon to be without completely, utterly breaking the bank. The bank. Breaking the bank. Dang, I can't talk today. All right, let's get started. Helmet goes first. Get that helmet stacked. And that's six stacks. Uh, 17 out of 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. I'll have to review the footage, but you can see that it's pretty decent damage. I mean, it's a pretty cool combo. All right, well, it turns out the text blocked the DPS on your screen, but on my screen, I was able to see it. And it's almost the same as having 2031 item power. Um, you can see two, 2009 item power to 2031 item power. Not a huge difference, but what about 2009 item power to 1919 item power, uh, which is, you know, not going to break the bank so much, okay? You basically, it, like, like I said, you, you're gaining maybe 70 more DPS per second. I, I don't think that's super worth it uh, to spend 50 million combat fame credits. Uh, but what about what about no spec? All right, we're gonna kick it down now to uh, fifteen twenty two item power. We're gonna turn off the text this time so we can actually see the damage numbers. Let's get this stack started. Six stacks, and oh, it's dropping fast. Oh no, oh that is oh. I mean, look, the damage is still decent. You're still gonna kill a player doing that much damage, but the DPS, oh, it's so bad. Alright, this will be our final test here. We have an excellent permafrost prism. Alright, and we have 400 spec, which means 100 into the permafrost, but 50 into the rest. This is as budget-friendly as it gets. It puts us at 1865 item power, so it's not quite max spec in everything. You can see that it's about, um, like, what, 50? We lose about 50 item power compared to our other test, so let's get started with this one. I'm going to turn off the text so we can see the damage. Get that helmet rolling out, and three, four, five, slap the spell down. We got the six stack, and there we go, 1,400, 13, 12, 11, 10, and down to 900, it looks like. All right, and these are the results of our test here uh, at 400 spec. Uh, it's about 1,303, and then it goes down to 940. Now that's that that's as budget friendly as you're gonna get. Okay, that that takes as little combat fame credits as possible, very little investment. And uh, let's see if, if we just were to bump this up uh, from uh, excellent quality to masterpiece. If you want to spend another like 50 million silver, okay, that's gonna put your item power at 1905, which uh, is gonna be very close to max spec. Okay, and then if you were to maximize your spec, where would that put our item power? So let's do that real quick. Uh, and then we can kind of judge where our DPS would be at. All right, so there's 100 in that weapon. And, uh, you know, this is, the, like I said, this is the test realm. I'm not blowing through actual money or combat fame credits and in, on the live server, okay? We established this at the start of the video. If you skip to the end, um, you missed out on a lot of information, okay? Uh, you know, I, I structure these videos so you can't just skip to the end and look at the data. All right, so we're going to unequip and re-equip it. That puts our item power at 1953. So where would that be at on our little chart here? We have 2031, so it would be pretty close to 720 spec without the... Well, I guess if you want to put 50 million into spec or 50 million, you know, um, <laughs> into your weapon. But in that case, for 2031, you would need both. Uh, yikes. All right, 1552, 1953... Again, this is still pretty close to being max spec here. Uh, it's just it's just a little bump in item power, a little like 40. It's probably going to increase your DPS by about 40. 
honestly. Like, that That sounds about right. I don't know. I, I, I've run out of screen space to test DPS. By the way, if you're wondering what the top highest possible DPS looks like, it's something like this. We get the Bolt Casters, the Druid Robe, Royal Hood, and Hellion Shoes. Yeah, that's right. Hellion Shoes. That's an oddball, isn't it? But we're going to stack up the Druid Robe here real quick. And then we're going to activate that. Go ahead and give it... Let's see if we get this correctly. Yep, there we go. So this is the highest possible friggin' DPS that you can get. And that is 2,194 DPS. There might be a way to increase this even higher. Uh, but that is 8.5k damage in two attacks. It's, it's really, really insane. And so here's what I basically did, okay? We had a maximum stacked Royal Hood. Max stacked Druid Rope. We have the Hellion Shoes, which is a 35% steroid. Alright, we also have... A Sunder Shot on a full HP target, meaning minus 100 damage resistance, okay? And then we had, of course, the Death Word Climax at Max Spec Masterpiece. It's it's insane, yeah. If you had a, um... Oh, I forget the cape name, but it gives you 50% more damage at 50% HP. That would be another steroid. If you had the H3 Beef Stew, that's another steroid. And if you had eight an 8.1 Poison Potion on the target. But that would also ruin... The problem with poison potioning is you would have to do it after the sunder, but if you do it after the sunder, that puts you on a one second global, which means you don't get the max damage from Death Word Climax. So the poison potion is a little iffy. Also, I don't know if I had beef stew active when I did that. Um, did I not have beef stew active? I'm not sure if I had the beef stew active. Um, I'd have to look at the footage again. But we'll just we'll just do the test again, okay? It's not a big deal. And I might have stacked it too slow here. Uh, no, we got it. We totally got that. Okay, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> 2,206 DPS, 8,774 damage. Insanity. Absolute craziness. Now, as for AoE DPS, I think the Shadow Caller 8.3 Masterpiece with Crypt Candle Masterpiece 8.3, of course, max spec, is the highest, possibly. I don't know for sure, but out of all of my testing, this, this is pretty damn strong. You, what you do is you stack at least two puddles, and as soon as you stack the second puddle, you hit them with... The, uh, what, this spell, what is it, Cursed Beam, and, uh, yeah, you just deal, you deal tons of damage, and <laughs> it's insane. These target dummies die way too fast, like, they're already nearly dead in just, what, three or four casts. It's pretty crazy, but, um, I don't know if that's the best AoE. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for today's tests. Uh, I'm Soul Benji. thanks for watching. I didn't even use a beef stew in that test, but you get the point. You know, come on the test room, hit up these target dummies, they're on your personal island on the left side, if you're curious. Uh, we could probably stack these a little bit higher, maybe, maybe we can, but uh, <laughs> there we go. We have some, uh, we're pushing like 700 something AoE DPS here, and uh, yeah, just what? I, I don't know. Anyway, I didn't even stack up Druid Robe either doing that, so <laughs> there's way more potential. Make sure you're subscribed because I've got videos every single day on this channel. And also, uh, if you want to leave a monetary donation, click the thanks button. I appreciate it very much. If you want to become a channel member and get access to private personal videos through a members-only program on YouTube, uh, click the join button. That is five bucks a month. One of those videos is how to be a YouTuber if you have interest in wanting to start a channel or maybe you have, you know, a friend that has a YouTube channel but he only gets like 20 views a video, then you can watch that video. It's 40 minutes long and you'll be getting thousands and thousands of views very easily by following that 40 minute guide that I made. Anyway, thank you so much for watching again. Uh, make sure you're subscribed because there's videos every single day on this channel and I will see you in the next one. Take care, lads.